No doubt that Samsung Galaxy A6, one of the best mid-ranger phone that Metro PCS has released yet, but is it worth to buy? This is Variety Stick and this is my full review after one month. So without any further ado, let's find out. Now by looking to any smartphone, the first thing you will see how the phone look, how the design. And this is one of the things that paid my attention on the Galaxy A6. From the front, the phone adopting the new ratio 18 by now with that beautiful infinity display from Samsung. As well as we will notice that there is a flash on the front beside the camera on the phone. And this time around, Samsung has decided to go with metal for the back which is make the phone way more premium than the plastic and this beautiful Samsung logo printed on that metal which is absolutely give the phone very premium feeling to it. As well as we have the fingerprint located on the back of the phone and one single camera 16 megapixel and a flash on the back and from the bottom it will be the USB mini 2 to charge and the audio jack unfortunately there is no USB-C or fast charging available for this phone from the right side it will be the power key and the speaker located on the side this time it's not on the bottom or the back of the phone which is a very great position for the speaker to be located in and from the left side we have the volume up and the volume down buttons if you are wondering about the battery, the battery will be located under the underneath of the back of the phone and since this phone made out of metal, so the whole phone sealed with the battery and will be a pain in the butt to remove the back and replace the battery. If you think that you want to buy the Samsung Galaxy A6 for the quality of the display, the sharpness, the amount of PPI, the resolution, then don't buy the Galaxy A6 for the display the display has only 5.6 inches yes is adopting the new ratio 18 by 9 but the resolution is very disappointing we have 720 by 1480 which is just only regular high definition so we don't have full high definition or any more resolution the ppi is very disappointing 294 we have seen phones that way cheaper and way more ppi which is doesn't make the phone look bad because the display doesn't have the highest uh, specification to it i mean in my opinion this is a super amoled display has very nice colors into it the angle view is perfect and in my opinion is a lovely display but not as what we were expecting now we are still in the disadvantage department uh, talking about the Galaxy S6. As everybody knows, the Samsung Galaxy A6 doesn't have the uh, removable back, which is the battery should be sealed inside the phone, which is totally fine because most of the phones go that way. I know it makes it a little hard, tough to replace it or have another one or spare one, which is many people don't like this, but there is also many people they don't even care about that because that just become a trend in uh, cell phones in general of having the sealed battery inside the phone. But what's the main disappointing thing over here, which is the size of the battery itself only 3000 milliamp power battery yes the phone doesn't have the highest resolution the the highest brightness for the display but it's still there is many apps you have a uh, very high a processor a processing image the gpu and all that stuff if you are willing to play games and stuff like that that will drain the battery so quick let's come to the conclusion of the battery so i've been using the phone for one month the phone either give me five to four to five hours of screen on time this is good as an average for the battery usage but this also by the time it will be way less performance for the battery as everybody knows when you purchase the phone you use it for the first month the battery is great we don't have a problems and after that we'll see the level of the uh, battery performance will be decreasing but it is what it is, it can't change much in this department. So if you are looking for the phone that has great battery performance, also the Samsung Galaxy A6, maybe not your choice. Let's end talking about the negative things on the Galaxy A6 and talk about some advantages the phone may offer you. 
The phone has absolutely high speed processor from Samsung. So we have Exynos 7870 Octa-Core 1.6 is a blazing fast processor and the GPU has very great performance so we have GPU Miley T830 has very good performance especially for those people they want to play games on the phone I have already made a video to review games so go ahead guys if you missed that video I will leave the link on the description box to watch the performance of the phone when you play games now for the internal memory, I'm not too impressed. We have 32 gigabyte for the storage and you can expand the storage by adding SD card up to 128 gigabytes. And the ROM on the phone, it will be three gigabytes of ROM. Unfortunately for those people buying the phone from Metro by T-Mobile, they don't have the option to go for the higher one, which is Samsung has made the same phone with four gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte for the storage. To whom may ask for the Geekbench results, we have done the Geekbench test and the phone recorded the score for the single core 1217 and for the multi core 397. And no doubt this is a high score for the phone and the phone could compete or crush any other phones with the same category or the same range price. By translating these numbers to the actual performance, the phone was giving me a great performance. I haven't noticed that the phone f freezes or slow down, especially for games. The phone was giving me very nice experience, a smooth experience. The frames always fast. I don't have issues or problems with. As I said, the link on the description box. Go ahead, guys, and see the performance of playing games on the Galaxy A6. The software that is Samsung using on this phone, it will be the Android 8 0.0 out of the box, which is I doubt that Samsung could even go for the next uh, operating system, the Android P. They may just send you some uh, security batches updates and some software enhancements. Samsung has made two features to enhance the security for your phone when you unlock the phone. Now Samsung has added the fingerprint which is located on the camera, a very good spot and also is very responsive, unlocks every time you use the fingerprint with no issues or no hustle or anything like that. So a great job for the fingerprint, I haven't noticed problems with the fingerprint at all. And the second feature for the security as well as if you don't like to use the fingerprint or if you wear gloves or anything like that also Samsung has made it easier for you by adding a motion sensor to the camera where you can register your face and unlock by your face and most of the time works perfect I haven't also noticed problems using the face recognition now since we're talking about features let me show you some more features this phone can offer you the phone has of course nfc and have a smart view where you can actually connect your phone to your smart tv if you want to no wonder if samsung used the samsung TouchWiz for the galaxy a6 the way you are uh, actually go to the main menu just all you have to do one swap which is very unique and then by going to the settings we will be able to see few more settings than the normal samsung phone we have seen before maybe the advanced features one of them it has a lot of bunch of features which is i'm going to cover in completely separate videos so if you guys haven't subscribed to variety stick subscribe more for more coverage on the galaxy a6 and more phones as well as we have the maintenance or the device maintenance this is something will tell us if some Something draining the battery or you have some cache on the phone which is uh, reduce the performance make your phone to run slow you can easily come to this and fix it and it will enhance your so software experience lastly I want to talk about the camera on the phone but just before we begin talking about the camera uh, we have one camera on the back of the phone so we don't have two camera as many other phones we have seen recently even with a cheaper price than the Galaxy A6 but we have 16 megapixel camera for the rear of course we have a flash plus we have 1.6 aperture which is great enhance the pictures even on the low light situation which is I'm going to show you in a little bit and for the front camera also we have 16 megapixel camera for the uh, the front plus it's enhanced with the flash if you have low light situation because the the front camera has only 1.9 aperture not 1.6 
as the back cam. Now let's go ahead and jump to the application of the camera and the application of the camera is actually very disappointing. That doesn't mean the camera is disappointing. The camera take really sharp, nice pictures, which is I'm gonna show you this in a few seconds. Taking pictures with this phone is absolutely a great experience, but lack of some features on the uh, camera application what is disappointing me for instance there is no slow motion there is no manual control there is no something where you can adjust the brightness the lightning and you can adjust the sharpness and stuff like that as many other phones maybe has the same uh, value for the phone which is you have more control now you will have the settings button over here and let me show you what else you can get out of it it's just where you can adjust the resolution of course the resolution on back camera and front camera will be full high definition you don't have 4k this is in my opinion is not big deal because 4k is going to take a lot from your uh, storage in your phone and just adjust the ratio the size of the video the resolution the grid lines and stuff like that so it's not something uh, uh, really new here, but uh, just going back uh, to the application itself you have some stickers Which is something we have seen in snapchat, which is very uh, fun to play with if you if you like kind of stuff uh, For the front facing camera if you go ahead and jump to it You have the selfie focus which is does a great job You can actually just make it more smooth or you can add more colors to it and that's about it and the selfie focus is that feature which is uh, similar to the buka effect we have seen in some other uh, phones before and let me go ahead and view some pictures I have taken and give you my opinion this will be indoor but you guys can see the quality of the pictures I mean no matter how much you zoom the quality it will stay in a good shape as I mentioned I'm not happy with what the camera application features offer you but I'm so happy with the results because everything has to be auto I mean color contrast there is no noise or anything like that even that I have taken these pictures with not much light but still the camera does a great job selfie outdoors absolutely amazing I mean you guys can look to the background you're not gonna see anything washed out and if you look to the face itself it bring nice pictures uh, for the selfie lovers outdoor pictures of course no problem these pictures have taken in the uh, back camera this will be indoor and you guys can see how sharp there is no noise in the colors there is no blurry anything like that these pictures it's very nice and here's just want to show you if we zoom you can see how much details this camera can capture so it's amazing performance for the camera little bit of lackness of the features you can do but at the end Samsung they don't want to do it that way but believe me guys the camera is absolutely amazing indoor using the selfie focus which is blurry the background it still can bring up uh, maybe it's not the best you know what I mean blurry picture I have seen or bokeh effect I have seen but uh, bring very nice uh, picture back to the good sensor on the camera itself uh, I think that was very much it for uh, the camera. Now in conclusion, is this phone worth to buy for around $300? In my opinion, yes, the phone is worth it. Maybe not every aspect on the phone the way I want it to be. At the end, I compromise it with the price. This is not a flagship. I would say this is a mid-range phone. Yes, the phone doesn't have the highest resolution, doesn't have uh, at least 4 gigabytes of RAM or 64 gigabytes storage, but at the same time, the camera gives me so good pictures, great performance, for gaming, the processor speed, the phone most of the time is smooth, they haven't noticed overheat problems or anything like that. So in general, this is a great phone in my opinion after using the phone for one month. And if when I give this phone a rate, I will give this phone 8 out of 10. And that was very much it for my full review after one month on the Samsung Galaxy A6 on Metro by T-Mobile. I wish you guys find this video helpful. It did give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, comment if you want and share the video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next video.